<laughs> and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on. Hopefully, hopefully this recording works <laughs> here. Uh, we just had some problems with the Chandra Tribal recording. Um, by problems, I mean, I guess it wasn't recording. I, I don't know. So, uh, you know, if if that video doesn't make it up to YouTube, I am sorry about that. But we got a pretty sweet new deck that we're playing here. So I built this one earlier today. I was, uh, you know, playing it, tuning it and everything. This is where I'm at. What the goal of this deck is that we're playing here is I wanted to play Dawn, with, Dawn from Dreams. Uh, and I wanted to play this because, like, this card looks really cool. So I wanted to play this new card. And I wanted to play it with Expansion, where for six mana I could copy it and have double Drawn from Dreams. So I wanted to do th that together. And... Um, the other thing that I wanted to do with this deck is I wanted to play it with like basically no basically no permanents. We have a couple primal amulets and as cantas doesn't really count though. Wanted like no creatures, no planeswalkers. So all the removal that people play in their main decks uh, that kill creatures, kill planeswalkers, their mass manipulations, all that kind of stuff. Uh, I wanted to blank all of that game one. I wanted those to all be dead cards. Uh, game one. Um, and uh so like that's so that's that's why i'm not playing any any planeswalkers any creatures anything like that uh so hopefully we, we can get some like good like virtual card advantage so like any any of like those spells that they have in their decks they're all just dead the first game i'm going to be bringing in kafnet against basically everybody uh that games two and three because kafnet's very strong um and i'm going to be bringing him in, bringing him in against basically everybody it's a very good card. Uh, let's see. So besides that, how we win the games is we kick Fight with Fire to do damage upstairs. We can expansion and copy a kicked Fight with Fire, by the way, so that can deal 20 immediately. We can also use the explosion part here whenever we just have more mana later in the game. Explosion, do a lot of damage upstairs, draw some more cards, find some more burn spells. And, you know, just use, like, burn spells to kill them kind of thing. So that's how we win. Uh, also, Primal Amulet. If we flip this, it you know can copy the spell, so we can we can copy the kicked fight with fire uh, to do twenty upstairs. So, <clears throat> so that's that's what we have to uh, win games. Sideboard wise, of course, we have we have, I have Cage against Frenzy. Uh, you know, because again, like honestly, this we probably should be playing Jeskai Colors, but I just wanted to play blue red. You know, but we probably should be playing Jeskai Colors to have like Cleansing Nova to destroy. Artifacts and enchantments. It's just, you know, regular enchantment removal, but whatever. Narset's Reversal is, is really cool. So I have one in the main, and I got some couple more on the board. This card is, like, for Command the Dread Horde. It's like my opponent, like, casts Command the Dread Horde and tries to bring back a bunch of stuff, and then I'm like, no, uh, I'm going to actually Nar Narset's Reversal that, by the way, and uh, I will take all the stuff, and I'll get all the things into play. And so that that's what I got the Narset's Reversals for. Got the one in the sideboard also. Very good against mass manipulation. Uh, you know, like, if I do have, like, Kefner or whatever, they mass manipulate. I'm like, no, I want to actually take your thing. So I can I can do that. Um, and then it's also good at, it's good, again, at, at copying the kicked fight with fire, for example. Or copying, you know, like, I can reversal Star of Extinction to put the Star of Extinction back in my hand. So I can Star of Extinction again. You know, reversal a big explosion or whatever. You know, so I, I can just do some kind of... Crazy things with Narset's Reversal. It's very, very good in counter magic wars also. Um, whenever you play your spell and your opponent tries to counter your spell, if you Narset's Reversal your first spell, you get to put that spell back into your hand so they don't their counter spell goes away and you still get to actually cast your other spell. So this is this is definitely in for counter for counter wars kind of thing. Um, we also have the own negates, the counter stuff. Hey, Razpataz. Thank, welcome to the channel. Yeah, you can reversal your own Dawn, Dawn from Dreams and all that kind of stuff. It's a, it's a it's a pretty nice card. It can it can do some stuff. So we got one in here and a couple more on the sideboard. Uh, Spyglass for some annoying planeswalkers. Flame sweep for for a sweeper. I got Trancing Melodies in particular for Adanto Vanguard. I feel like Adanto Vanguard is going to be a card that'll be really hard for me to beat, and so I need some melodies for vanguard in particular uh and then you know we can just melody other random stuff there's a lot of good cheap creatures to melody but that's the deck so it doesn't win games very fast 
And there are certainly holes in the deck. But I'm going to go ahead and play it in a traditional constructed queue with it being a brand new deck that we're just kind of trying out. And there, you know, playing three colors would could fill different holes and everything. But I wanted to, you know, I wanted to try this out. I wanted to try out no no creatures, no planeswalkers, just a bunch of spells and Dawn from Dream with expansion. So there we go. Let's see how it works. Yeah, Reversal Dreadhorde lets you choose. Yep. Because it says you copy the spell and then you get to choose new targets for the copy. So yeah, you get to choose what you want to Dreadhorde so you don't kill yourself with Dreadhorde kind of thing. Um, yeah, I I started with Mirari, uh, Mirari's Conjecture in the deck originally and replaced them with Primal Amulet, actually. I decided to go Primal Amulet instead of Mirari's Conjecture. Okay, the aggro deck. Well, not the best hand. Ah, uh, the number of targets cannot change. That's a good card. That makes sense, the number of targets can't change. Yeah, Narset could be a good sideboard or... Yeah, Narset could be a good sideboard card. I, I of course, don't want it in the main uh, because of, as as we've talked about, the with the deck, I'm trying to trying to not have any creatures or planeswalkers in the main. Just, you know, trying that out because all these decks have, like, so many planeswalkers everywhere in this format. It's just, like, planeswalkers galore, the format. And so I want to try having none. You know, do something different. So ideally, we would be able to wait. I Like, I want to wait on the ops till after I play Primal Amulet. I would like to. Maybe I should cast one opt right now. I don't know. We're only saving, like, you know, just a little 1-1, one, 1-2s. One, one The whole they cost one less part of life isn't really that valuable <laughs> with these ones, to be fair. No, not the land. Uh-oh. Ruh-roh. Right All right. Well, I don't. Ha I don't have time to drop the other amulet. I maybe didn't really even have time for this. Looks like we have lots of options, but maybe not any good ones. Yeah, I mean, we have. I just have Star of Extinctions instead of River, Rivers Rebuke. You know, we have four, or we have three Star of Extinctions in the main, another one in the sideboard.
living in a monastery full of firebrands? <laughs> it's awesome. Go get him, buddies. This game should be over. Uh, our opponent should be able to lethal us here. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's just lethal. They just activate priests and we're dead. All right, let's get rid of the Narset's Reversal. All right, so we need the, the Flame Sweeps. Melody, Kefnet. Oh, no, another star. Um, let's see. Let's cut down a... Cut down an amulet. I mean, cut down both amulets. And a perception. I'm not. Do I really want all these stars? I kind of need the stars, I suppose. This is going to be tough. The practice matches that I had, I didn't play against any aggro, <laughs> to be honest. Just played against mid-range and control decks. You know, like, you know, green creature decks and blue-black control decks. I don't know if I need all those ex ex the extinctions. Maybe not. I like us. I like us Kanta more than Treasure Map. I think I like just uh, paying the two mana and then not having to worry about it again. Probably worth it. Probably should play one primal amulet. Over one of the star extinctions. Treasure map does make star extinction better. It does help you get there. I'll give you that. Yeah, his Kanta is pretty incredible. Just such a... Such a strong card. It's hard not to play. Especially how we're playing so many uh, cheap spells that help flip it. We want to find Kefnet, if possible.
Give me that. No death triggers for you. Cool, thanks, Yud. Yep, that's that should be how you can do it, Elijah. Oh, you're welcome, Royal Flesh. Yeah, happy to help. Oh, that thing is big. Uh, that thing's big. All right. Well, I didn't. I didn't get the upkeep stop in there in time, but still worked out. They have a lot of cards, but they're down to two lands. Ooh, they do want to draw the Bantu again. Means they probably have a bunch of lands in hand. Alright, so we're definitely taking the land, and I guess I'm going to just grab another Dawn from Dreams. Bones. That card's annoying. So when they would play some other better creature for me to flame sweep. Nope, not you. Thanks, Soup. Glad you're liking the tie today. This is this is one of my favorite shirt tie combinations. I like this one. <laughs> All right, cool. We didn't take a damage from the firebrand. That was convenient. Yeah, Discord channel, all you have to do is click, yeah, you know, just, actually, the the link is right there above you. Just go to, you know, click the link there. You can, um, and yeah, Discord's for everybody. Uh, you know, just go through there. Uh, everybody can join to show that you, as a subscriber and being like the sub-only room, you need to link your Twitch and your Discord accounts together. And doing so will... Uh, will maybe take up to like an hour to actually uh, link together. But it should work. Eight. eight mana right now. Opponent's at 15. I want to just take a land. No. I kind of want to take a land. Hmm. Nah. Hmm. 
No, the, the link should work. The link works. Yeah, it just worked for me too. To kick fight with fire, we do need another land, which, oh, there we go. Got it. But let's go and starve extinction. Blow up this Bantu. I guess I should fight with fire. Just do six to Bantu. Uh, no, because, yeah, six to Bantu, four to them does not kill them. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, no, that doesn't work. Huh. Just goes to an error page. I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, it's work yeah, it's working for everybody else. I don't I don't know. Um Let's do two, two, six. So can they can they do five points of damage to me this turn? That's what they're gonna need to do. I'm gonna need to have five haste damage here. You know, I'm going down to five. Hey Fred, thank you so much. My my opponent did attack. If you're talking about they didn't attack with the Bantu, it doesn't have haste. Like they didn't. Our, my opponent hasn't missed any attacks. Finale of promise would would work with the deck. Yeah, we could have finale of promise in here. I didn't fit it in, but yeah, it's an option. It would go over instead of the five mana instant that's the draw three. You'd probably play it there. They forgot to oh they forgot to attack with with reveler and gutter snipe. Are you sure those those were summoning sick? I'm pretty sure. Oh, whenever they cast the second Bantu. Oh, okay. They they should have a okay okay. I got you. They were supposed to attack. Okay, that turn. Okay, I was thinking the previous turn. Okay. Attack and then sack. I got gotcha. you. All right, I'm I'm picking up what you're putting down. All right, we'll go one amulet over one of the four star of extinctions. No, the little monkeys cannot attack and sacrifice. No, because to sacrifice the fanatical firebrand, you have to tap it, and attacking causes it to tap, so you're not able to do both. All right, Yud, have a good nap. These islands look cool. <laughs> Thanks, Lion. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Let's get a blue kitty. Hmm. 
to get different artwork with the lands, all you have to do is, uh, whenever you're in like the deck builder screen, go to the advanced filters and there's a tab for basic lands. And you just gotta click that basic land tab and you are good to go. I guess this lightning strike's only saving me three damage, isn't it? Oh no, 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 because yeah, never mind. Because then it it goes it grows bigger than the flame sweep, so yeah, it's actually it's saving me more than that. These things are annoying. All the all the damages. So we're taking three damage here with this flame sweep. Um, I guess we wait though. They play another creature. Could be worth it to sweep it up, even with the Judith trigger. So we're down to 11. Yeah, yeah, Dreadhorde Butcher is very good, and yeah, Knight of the Ebon Legion is an awesome, awesome card. I haven't played very much Mu Yanling. I played Mu Yanling in uh, Grixis Control the first time I played it. That's about it, though. I think I had. I think it was in another donation deck that I've played as well, actually. Hmm. Primal Amulet or Search for Escanta? I just take Ascanta. I definitely wanted the Lava Coil, this kind of matchup. my fifth card. Or that's my fourth card? Oh, uh, I was that was my fifth. Hmm. Didn't get another instant. I was hoping to grab, like, an instant that I could play before... I guess I wouldn't really want to be able to play something before and flip as Kanta, though. Hmm. This is annoying, but you got to do what you got to do to stay alive. Like, when you're in the advanced filter, you can click a button that says like rare, mythic rare, common, uncommon. Next to all those tabs, there's one that says basic lands in, in the front, actually. And so cl click on that one for basic lands. So I wasn't sure if we'd want shock or not. I'm just going to keep it here uh, to kind of see if we want it or not. And I, I will, yeah, I'm going to just keep it. We'll flip this. And we're going to steal this. And I'll need to have Ascan to find something else for the Bantu. And then next turn, we'll have to find something for Bond 3. It's not 
bad. Let's see if we draw a red source. Ugh, punished. I wanted to draw a red land and just be able to shock the priest still. I can coil shock a Bantu though. Yeah, our opponent's got to get these attacks in here. Oh, sack like another land or two. All right, steal Bantu, you said? I like our deck, it's different. You know, we're doing some different stuff here, just playing all spells all the time. That's pretty nice. Okay. All right, Pink Riots, have a good, have a good one. Yeah, Murmuring Mystic is probably a good sideboard card. That's probably a good sideboard card. I like that more than Sahili. It's you know easier to stick around being a one five. All right, Storm, have a good night too. Yeah, yep, this is my this is a deck I built and put together today. Um you know, wanted to play as we talked about at the beginning of the video, wanted to play Dawn from Dreams and Explosion and No Creatures or Planeswalkers. Want to do something different. Sultai. No wild growth walker. Bad. You can wild growth walk on over to the exile pile. That's where you can walk. All right, amulet down. Spell's not costing much now. We got four spells in the graveyard. We're gonna encounter some Nissas. Everybody knows every green deck always has Nissa whenever they have five five lands. It's just automatic. It's the rules. And if you counter the Nissa, then they got another one. That's probably part of the rules too. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, yeah. I'll keep lightning strike. Yeah, yeah, I like I like the uh our dreams card. I like it quite a bit. I think it's I think it's really strong. Let's activate. Really needed a land. You know, land I would get to double explosion here. I can just lightning strike. Just lightning strike and Ascanta. We just want to draw lands now, like, you know, we have Ascanta to get all the spells we want, we just want to draw lands. Yeah, there's, they're looking with their command, the Dread Horde, they just have Nissa over there right now. Yeah, I could I could just burn face. Uh certainly considering that. We probably outrace them. Let us see if your talents are worth cataloging. No tail should be discarded. Hmm. I'm going to have to discard a lot of cards if I explosion here. But I'll hit a land drop. I could do it on their upkeep. Because, yeah, it's a draw four. I'd only have to discard one card. That's fine. We'll discard one card. Here. Hmm. So I can just go Mountain Shock? Nah, let's play the Temple. Uh, sure. No, I want land. Get out of here. We should have this one down, you know, like with the Primal Wellspring and everything. It's going to take us a little bit, but I, I don't really see us losing this game. With, like, these Star of Extinctions and everything. Yeah, now we got a Land Destruction deck. Unfortunately, they're at 21 life. I guess maybe I should have kept that Shock. I mean, I need to hit two, la two Land Drops anyway. Nature's true power. Before I can 
uh, fight with fire. So we don't we won't be able to next turn. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and double double star. Take out the two blue lands. I must go. And then we'll use opt to hit another land drop. Oh yeah, the creature line was dying anyway, wasn't it? Oh, what am I? What am I doing? Yeah, I should. I could have just got two other lands. My bad. That's all right. That's a mistake by me. So yeah, I, I should have blown up two other lands. That's that's one bad for me. Uh, yeah, that's all four Nissas. Land. Okay, let's do... Six, one, one, three. Oh, wait, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh wait. Uh, all right, I messed this up. I was thinking this was nine to take out, but I, I was only counting the Nissa. I just cancel. Okay, thank you. I have to select three targets. Okay, well that's that's something good to learn. I didn't realize it'll work like that. And you have to do six three one again. Okay. All right. Well, we're learning stuff. Let us talk of peace. Interesting. Me. Yeah, I didn't I didn't realize it did that either. Okay, well see, we're we're learning stuff. Good thing that we're like miles ahead and we're gonna be easily winning this game, so we can just be learning something like that. And not like at a different time where like that would have been crucial to me winning or losing. I did not know that that worked like that. Okay. All right, we want this extra star of extinction. No, not not playing melody to steal lands. You know, that's not the worst idea. No, that's not the worst idea. Yeah, this deck, uh, 
I'd say this deck's more fun than good right now, but you know, we'll see. It, it does stuff. All right, what are we doing here? So Narset's reversal can be good against Command the Dread Horde and like them playing negates and stuff like that. Let's go ahead and, and play those. Um, I want to get rid of. I don't really know what I want to get rid of though. I want to cut one of these. Uh, we're gonna cut a strike. I mean, the gates seem awesome. Let's cut two of those. I guess we just cut those things. I'm just playing one of these. All right, how does this look? Looks rushed. So what happens when you Entrancing Melody to capture a land that got turned into a creature by Nissa? How much do you pay? Uh, the creature, or sorry, the land has CMC of zero, so you would be, so it would be X equals zero. So it just costs you the two mana for the Entrancing Melody, just the blue blue, there. Yeah, I don't have any precognition fields. Uh, I don't know, maybe that. Maybe precognition field is good. I don't know. I don't really fit it in anywhere. I don't. I don't think it's better than Wellspring, or Escanta. I don't know. Maybe it is. Wow, it's uncanny. It's uncanny how that always works. Whatever they make you discard, you're going to draw again. I want to just take the, the draw step here with the amulet. I'm not going to cast the opt right now because uh, I need to find, start finding removal. So I'm just going to take this draw step and so then the, the scry actually has value because right now the scry doesn't have any value. Um, I wouldn't mind lava coiling that Jade Light Ranger. Thank you. I think it was going to hit hard. Every story is an opportunity for new data. To the library. Hmm. This is bad. <laughs> Whenever you mold a six, whatever you put at the bottom, that's your first card. <laughs> I haven't I haven't noticed that really yet. I need we need our blue kitty. Blue kitty. Through this land we are all connected. I think you will find my notes helpful. Rise, my elemental friend. I don't know why my so they plused for Jade Light Ranger. No, they just had another duress. I was like, why didn't they minus for duress? Because that's like the best thing they could be doing. So they had another duress. That's why. Keeping cards in hand against them whenever they get to just duress every single turn doesn't make the most sense, so looks like we're just going land destruction here. And hopefully find Star of Extinction. Yeah, I'd love to draw Star of Extinction. 
We got six six mana for next turn. It does cost six because of the amulet. Seek and find. So we got our four star of extinctions. We got two looks at it. That's the card that y'all need to be focusing on. Get get that positive energy thing and star of extinction. Just envision what that card's gonna look like here. Of course, their last card's Crisis. Why not? Why not? They've had everything else. Double Duress. Yeah, we, we really need it. Extinction. No, Graveyard. Flip. Star. Shock. Double shock. Keep them off of mana. No, don't. No, my amulet. Ugh. Why did that have everything? <laughs> the land shall conquer you. whole bunch of lands. I have Spyglass for Tamiyo. I don't really want it for Nyssa. Uh, I think I'd rather have Strike than Shock against the Wild Growth Walker deck. I think that was a mistake there. Hey, Can Airborne with the Twitch Prime sub. That's sub number 10 on the day. We got to a sub goal. Let's get some hype in the chat. Hitting another sub goal, getting closer to a 12-hour stream. Thanks for the support today, everybody. Here we go. No, I'll never do a 24 hour stream. I, I can't physically stay up for 24 hours. I, no, I won't do that. I'd like to draw it as Kanta for my first draw step. To be able to put it into play on turn two. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I am Zari. I've, I am um, yeah, just kind of used to all sorts of uh, bad beats, good beats, uh, lucky draws, 
everything. It's, I don't know, I've played a lot of Magic in my day, and I've kind of seen it all, so. I'm also just... I don't know, I've always just kind of been a little composed, like... I was a I was a college tennis player, and uh, playing tennis is the same kind of thing. Like you'll hit awesome shots that you know barely go out. You know just you know, uh, you know just don't quite hit the line, or you know get caught up by the top of the net kind of thing. Or your opponents will hit a shot that you know hits the top of the net and trickle over, and you know all that kind of stuff. So I'm just kind of used to everything. Used to used to winning used to losing and i'm not one that really feels like tilting is is useful and i don't you know so i'm just not not one to do that so the this dinosaur in the room is pretty awkward or i'd like to grab this card i don't really want to do this to the dinosaur i don't think I'll just grab these. Well, thanks, Eastrux. I'm glad glad you're entertained and everything. That's my goal. You know, I'm trying to put together the best stream I can. So I play different decks each and every day. I think it's more entertaining than just watching the same deck over and over. If y'all don't know, um, I have the YouTube channel as well that put all the videos up, except for Chandra Tribal, rip, put all the other videos. No, just your rank is the only type of matchmaking involved when playing ladder matches. I play I play some off stream, you know, I, I mostly, you know, like build decks and everything and, and spend time, you know, doing that, uh, putting decks together and everything, spend a good amount of time doing that. Um, and then as far as playing goes, it's, you know, maybe, uh, you know, maybe like two to four matches a day off off stream at most. Uh, if if I'm if I'm playing like a deck like this and practicing and putting it together and stuff like I, I played two matches with this deck this morning, for example. Well, unfortunately, I was hoping to draw something else where I didn't have to starve extinction or get get countered and lose. Um, you know, I didn't didn't want to be so just like if my opponent has a counter spell, I lose. But it's that's kind of where we're at. Yeah, because even trying to kill the Bronson with this thing costs seven mana, so that's just where we're at. I wanted, you know, I was looking for something else to be able to have negate. Like that's, it's really unfortunate. Just didn't find anything. I, I guess I should have taken Melody instead of the two negates. I don't really regret that though. Honestly, I don't really regret not. If we would have just hit that, like if we had the expansion the turn earlier, I could have expansioned, and they counter expansion, and then I untap and star, or the other way around. So that was the un unfortunate. I couldn't play around a counter spell in hand, and and then they also had the counter spell.
I don't I don't think I don't think you need Kaya or Kalia in Five Color Reborn to dig for Niv Mizzet. That doesn't with Niv Mizzet not getting Kalia for you. Also, I, I don't think you really need to be there. What? So yeah, we'd really like Star or sorry, we'd really like Sir Tris Canta because that'll help us hit our land drops. things are going to kind of kill me. Lands. Okay, well at least we got his Kanta. So yeah, I used I used the lightning strike on the other thing. Um, oh dang. Because he used my mana better. Well, this is scary. Uh, I guess I need that. That thing's scary. How close am I to flipping this as Kanta? Not close at all. Can I get that fight with fire back? Put one fight with fire down here. There's two more in the deck. Things are big. Good game. That was scary. All right, we're gonna need to hit our land drops <clears throat> and get to the Star of Extinctions. Better. Melody can take out big creatures. Kefnet can block some creatures. Let's get rid of the negates, the Narset reversal. Let's cut some of these expansions. Maybe all of them? Let me just get rid of all the expansions. They're going to be too slow here. I guess I don't really want any of these. We could play a Flame Sweep, I suppose. Nah, we'll play one expansion. All right, here we go. <laughs> Deck, what are you doing? We need a more lucky color. I don't know what the odds of two no-landers are. It's probably not good, though. It's probably not good. All right, Kefi will save us. Kefi will save us. Reveal Lava Coil. 
His friend Dawn from Dreams. Good birdie. All right, there's a coil and a land drop. We'll, we'll get a land from this Dawn from Dreams, but, you know, we'll see if we can actually, you know, get a nice reveal trigger with Kefnet. So much for the land from Dawn from Dreams. I'm liking Dawn from Dreams quite a bit. It's it's pretty awesome. I'm not exactly sure what that guild mage does, but it's gonna die. Melody and Explosion. If I said if I said Dawn from Dreams instead of Drawn from Dreams, I'm, I apologize. Probably be playing a flame sweep. Nah, I should take out the explosion for the other flame sweep for a second one. Yeah, it's just a four mana dig through time, four mana sorcery speed. But yeah, it's just like dig through time. we may need Star of Extinction. But if I ditch a land, we're at we're only at three lands. Uh, we got we got four stars in the deck though. We'll see if we can find another. That card's good. That card's real good. <clears throat> it's all lands. No. What is this? That, that was just five lands in a row at the top of our library? Four lands in a row. No, I... No, I haven't... I haven't really tried the new double-double cast for the deck. It... Seems like I'd rather just have a, a big card draw spell or something, something more consistent than that. You'd have to have so much mana for that thing to work, you know? Like, you have to, like, play your spell plus play that.
Come on. I don't want to. I don't want to use this melody yet. I take another two damage. Ow. <laughs> Can we get that primal amulet last turn? Oh, that would have been the perfect card to draw last turn. I'd teach our opponent for playing these guild gates. Ooh, looks like we stabilized. That's a lot better than the land. So that does trigger the amulet and everything. But also, just putting in the graveyard helps flip Ascanta. Man, Drawn from Dreams costing two mana is really sweet. Uh, let's get this and this. The one, two, three. So, four, five, six. Ah, so I'm one away from kicking fight with fire. Which I guess I should be waiting for kicking fight with fire anyway. And then these will both flip. It's pretty incredible that those are not legendary, to be honest. So we get to do 30. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I have enough. I have enough lands. Okay. Finding that drawn, drawn from dreams is perfect. Yeah, dig from dreams. Oh wait, We're on the next one. All right, two and one. Yeah, that was sweet. This deck's cool. Ugh. You know, had enough planeswalkers these days, right? I've had enough of planeswalkers. Let's play some spells. Honestly, Jeskai may be better than Is It. You know, Jeskai gives you you know Deafening Clarion and Revitalize. That it honestly may be better than Is It, but I just wanted to play Is It. I want to do something different. Yeah, the the uh, the card style for Drawn from Dreams you have to get from the Mastery Tree. That's so why I don't have it yet, because yeah, it, it, the art is awesome. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, the control decks that just sit there and activate, you know, to ferry or for turn after turn after turn, is lame. Let's turn some corners. Let's just throw some fight with fire, some kicked fight with fires upstairs. Hey, what's up, Doctor Grindle? Happy Monday. Cool. Keep drawing lands. Land. Yay. 
So I want to draw for a little while. All right, Days and Amuse, have a good night. All right, sounds good, Dr. Grindel. Thanks, I'll, uh, when, when do you want me to play it? Tomorrow, tomorrow first, uh, I got a donation to play the Chandra deck again. That's the only spot that I have that is, uh, that is taken up right now. This is the good part about Precognitive Perception. We can hold up our negate for Teferi's. We don't need to cast it, we just get to draw three. And of course the hope is the the hope is that our Esper opponent is sitting on, you know, a bunch of removal and stuff, because we don't we don't play any cards then to be removing. I think I want I definitely want the explosion. Well, do I want the explosion? We already got one explosion. Should I just take star and fire? Definitely taking fire. I'll take another explosion. I've played against that deck, Vance. Uh, the deck that we played against it with, we had quite a good matchup against it. It's kind of unfortunate for them. I train every day. No one is more prepared than me. Hmm. I wish I would have taken Star about now. Especially finding a whole bunch of more explosions. <sighs> Dang, this card's good. We have too we have too much card advantage right now though. We just need lands. It's unfortunate. I mean, I guess the the drawn from dreams is just two lands. It's four mana to put two lands into your hand. Maybe I should have kept that. I probably should have kept it. That's a great one.
Uh, no, I don't have any fries in the sideboard. That's unfortunate. We gotta kind of keep our life total high because of Command the Dread Horde. Meditate and prepare. Still have much to learn. I don't know if I need a reversal that. Okay, let's get a fight with fire and a land. I mean, our next seven's got to have a, a blue source too, right? We can just take this Dawn, Dawn from Dreams. And that, this could backfire. Yay, lands. There was all the lands there. Let's slow. No time for a break. I should have taken that lightning strike. Ooh, they shocked. Oh wait, I need 11 mana to kick fight with fire. And expansion it. Yeah, because I need nine for this plus two more. I just have the nine. I'm going to kill her things, but then if they have, if I kill her things, then I am leaving myself vulnerable to command the Dread Horde. I'm not, am I? Overwhelming. All right, we're gonna kill some kill some stuff. Um, if I had to pick one, it would probably be the Chandra Tribal deck that we just got done playing. If I had to pick one for favorite deck to, to play, yeah. Finally, they found something that's finally they got a dead card. I've got time. So, uh, I have 10 mana. Already played a land. Explosion for three. I meant to do four. I thought I'd hit the minus one. 
I meant to do four. I meant to do four and keep two mana up. I guess the instants don't really matter though with Teferi here. I was not prepared. Oh, I still don't draw cards. I thought it would like resolve like okay, it deals X damage to any target and then draw X cards. I guess it, it doesn't. It's not like Vras's contempt where Vras's contempt would still gain life Trust me, off of. Hmm. Like, Vrasa's Contempt is like exile, and then you gain two life. Like, if you exile a, like, the, the thing that says you can't gain life. Well, that's unfortunate. You just let me know if you're up for round two. Definitely taking Ascanta. Um, it's either Star of Extinction or Amulet. I can no longer stand by and watch. Don't worry. I got this. Rude. Now I certainly feel bad about getting rid of the Narset's Reversal. Yeah, yeah, we win by yeah, killing with a big explosion or fight with fire. Either either one. Usually fight with fire. Hmm. Yeah, they, they probably yeah, their hand probably just had a bunch of removal in it. That's that's what that's the strength of the deck of blanking all of those removal spells. No, no gravestone in the sideboard. I'm not too worried about Gravestone. I'm not too worried about Command the Dread Horde. Sorry. I think it's pretty difficult to actually have Primal Amulet flip against Esper. I think this is this is not the matchup where I want it. Yeah, Spyglass can stop Big Teferi, but then they could have like little Teferi tuck and stuff. I don't I don't even know if I really want Spyglass. All right, JRC, getting that new tie. Thanks for that continued support, JRC. Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. 
maybe I should say. Take the land. Yeah, I, I definitely like the London Milligan rule. I think it's it's a very nice change. Uh, you can't sub and Twitch Prime sub. Yeah, I guess you can just do one or the other. All right, one negate down. We're going to need Star of Extinction to take out that thing. Which I conveniently put a Star of Extinction down at the bottom of the library. Hey, awesome, Regley. Glad you're enjoying the Sultai Cavalier deck. Good. Needs a rest. They got four cards. Hopefully, they have some more lands. Oh, come on, play some lands. I can't really beat four spells. Really? They have four spells? Ugh. Let's slow this down. I'll protect you. Isn't looking good for us. Obviously, I know they can they can bounce the Ascanta with the fairy, but still better than a random card. Let's play it again next turn. We still have five mana available. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. This Night Vale Predator has been really mean. Gets tucked by Teferi. That would have been a perfect time to draw Star of Extinction. They didn't, so it doesn't seem like they have counter magic because they didn't untap blue mana uh, whenever they untapped lands with Teferi. So they weren't they weren't very careful about that. So 
Don't think they have a counter spell. So I think Star of Extinction would resolve there. That would have been perfect. Yeah, Nightville Predator is a really good sideboard option for these kind of matchups for sure. You need to take a time out. So there's three other stars in the deck. The perfect time to draw one. Right now. I mean we have to, otherwise we're dead. This it's our only out. Bad idea. Oh, I thought that was it. Oh, I thought that was it. Do you think in some deck for the new rotation? For the new rotation in magic. Um Yeah, Daniek, uh, I'm not quite sure what you're trying to say there or trying to ask. Get that back. Um Okay, okay. Um, so the question is how I thought about what deck for post-rotation, uh, like what, what I want to be playing after rotation. Okay, I gotcha. Uh, and the answer to that is no, I haven't really been considering after rotation at all yet. Uh, you know, we only, we only know 80% of what standard will look like after rotation right now. And usually the fall set is a very important set for post rotation. Uh, so I, so I'm sure the fall set's going to change stuff up quite a bit. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I think I'm gonna. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take out Jace from the Sultai Cavalier deck. I'm gonna just put the the third. Command the Dread Horde in the deck instead, and like from the sideboard, and instead put a, another sideboard like Unmoored Ego in. Well, that hurts us that they have an Ascanta. We do have like Star that can destroy a flipped Ascanta. I haven't seen, like, the Scapeshift decks don't... I haven't been too impressed with the Scapeshift decks yet. I mean, we need to hit another four land drops, though, before we can play Star of Extinction. I don't know the answer to that question if there's enough time to get to mastery 100 before the next set with one level a day without paying. I know a, like just with just that um I do know that there's only enough to get to like level 80 81 or 84 something like that as far as days between but they they have already Wow, this is really, really unfortunate. We can't get any lands. Yeah, you know, they've already given like two free, two free levels right now, and I think, I think they're planning on doing other, other things in other ways, like late, especially later on, before rotation to, to have it. So, from what they said, uh, in their mind, it's going to be set up to like reward you for playing later on and reward you more for playing later on in a season. So I think that you're going to be able to earn more experience uh, as the season 
moves on because they want to reward people for continuing to play magic throughout the whole season and not just like right at the beginning at the new set. Those are not lands. Okay, you got your Mythic ICR from Mastery Path, and you got two finales of Revelation. So you can get, so you can get, it's not just Mythics from M20 then, you can get kind of any Mythics, Mythics from any set then. Well, I guess they got a plan for the Star of Extinction, which is bad for me. Or they're saying, thinking that they could find a, a plan for it. Yep, there's a plan for it. All right, gotta find another star. Oh, I don't get to activate us Kanta now. Oh, I I messed that up. I shouldn't have played the temple. I should have played the mountain. I messed that up. Ugh, long day. I don't know why I was thinking I could do both Temple and Escanta and activate Escanta. When I could not. Ugh. Just the truth. Well, this is unfortunate how deep we went here. We couldn't find. Couldn't find an answer. Sure. Yep. All right, well, two and two. Lost to uh, hexproof creatures. Games two and three. Yay, hexproof. Sir, it's sure fun playing against creatures you can't target at all. You can't use any removal on. That was fun. <laughs> well, besides that, I, I do have to say I, I liked playing our deck here. I thought this this deck was pretty fun to play, honestly. Um, yeah, I liked it quite a bit. Uh, I'm I'm not sure if we need the precognitive perceptions. Still, that's that's maybe my least favorite card in the in the main deck. Um, I should probably have four star. I should probably maybe just have like the fourth star of extinction in the main deck also. That card's just kind of always necessary. Um, I don't think I need Rivers Rebuke or Flood of Tears. I think just having all the stars is good. We just ran into random hexproof things. Uh, yeah, a three a three damage sweeper in red would be really really nice. It's, uh, I I would prefer Flame Sweep to do three damage and be sorcery speed. Absolutely, I think it would it would definitely be a lot better for us if it was. Um, 
even if it was one red red you know uh you know anger that got exiled even if we didn't have the exile clause uh would certainly prefer that um but yeah good chance we should be playing jeskai here just specifically for like revitalize and deafening clarion for uh aggro matchups but you know wanted to do something different you know and going jeskai would give you access to uh cleansing nova as well and you probably play less explosions but because that being a little bit harder to cast but maybe not uh yeah pretty fun little deck here though for is it dreams it's a cool one all right if you're watching this video later on youtube hope you enjoyed it like i did and uh, if so, please hit the like button over there. I'd appreciate that. And I'd also appreciate if you subscribe to the channel to get all the notifications with all the other videos too. But thank you so much for watching Is It Dreams here, and I will see you for another video.